Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be a what's on my nails video. Um, I recently got my nails done about two, three days ago and I tried something different. But before I show you what I have on my nails, I wanna tell you about this experience. So <laughs> before I get into the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into it. If you watched my nail update video that I recorded a few days ago, don't cl click off to watch it right now. Watch it after I finish this video. But if you watched that video, then you know that in that video, I was super excited to get my nails done. I was ra ranting and raving about how I finally found a nail tech that I can officially say is my nail tech, how I'm super excited to get my nails done again. And I was just going on and on and on about how excited I was going to be or how excited I was getting my nails done and finally found, finding a nail tech. Well, um, when I went to my appointment, I noticed that there was someone already sitting in the chair of my nail tech. No big issue, no big problem. You know, she is popular. She does have a lot of clients. So, you know, I was thinking that maybe she was um, already doing her nails and going to get started with mine in a, you know, in a short while. Or I was thinking maybe she was getting started with um, her nails and then once her colleagues came in, she was going to, um, you know, start working on mine and allow her colleagues to finish with the client that she was currently working with. I mean, I just, I didn't think that I would be put with someone else. So pretty much after sitting there waiting, I realized that she wasn't going to do my nails this time. And I really didn't understand why because I scheduled my appointment with her, but I looked on their website and a lot of her, I mean, I haven't seen any bad work on the website from her nor any of the nail techs that work with her. So I really wasn't nervous or, you know, I didn't think that the nails would come out wrong or not to my standard or liking if I got someone else at the salon. So I just went ahead and I got, I, I went with whoever, I, I forget her name, I apologize, but there was another nail tech and she's had, she does really, really great work as well. And again, I know this because I saw it on the Facebook page. So I went ahead and I sat in her seat and um, I have really long nail beds. So, and they're curved. So people that do my nails, they typically look under my nails before they start clipping it. And I don't know if they do that for everyone, but I know every time that I've gone to a different nail uh, salon and they have cut my natural nails to put on new tips, they look under my nails to make sure that they're not cutting my nail bed. So she was cutting really close to my nail bed and I let her know, hey, you know, can you cut a little bit longer because I don't want my nail bed to get clipped while you're cutting my nails. So I don't know if she understood me. I don't think that she did because she ended up clipping one of my nail beds really, really close and it started bleeding. And um, at that point, I was kind of like turned off. I was looking over at my initial nail tech that the one that I primarily go to and I was just looking like look what's look what's happening you know and um I wanted her to really do my nails at that point but she already had another client so what I think happened is I think she overbooked herself and she decided to go with the client that she has no longer than me and put me with another one of her co-workers which is fine up until I was clipped and I was bleeding pretty badly um so she decided to soak my nails off, but it made it harder because if I put my finger while it's ble bleeding and already sensitive and the acetone is going to hurt like crazy. So I didn't want that finger to be soaked off. So my primary nail tech had to come over and ended up um, like prying off that nail, which hurt too, but it didn't hurt as much as it would have hurt if I put my fingers in acetone. So after I got done with that, she ended up, um, shaping and filing my nails now she put different size nails on my fingers so my thumbs have different size nails and there are a couple other fingers i think like my ring finger no it's not my ring finger what other there's i think it's my pinky there's a couple other nails that she put different sizes on and she said because my nails were different sizes um like my thumbnail is bigger than my 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 right thumbnail is bigger than my left thumbnail and i get that i understand what she were, what she was saying but my primary nail tech and i don't mean to compare the two but i liked how my primary nail ha tech was doing my nails and i got accustomed to how she was doing it and um she always used the same exact size for the nails so i really didn't want to have a different strategy or foundation applied when getting my nails done i kind of wanted it to be the exact same way that i was used to so um with that being said i went ahead and i went with it 
Um, I noticed that I did not really like the design as much as I thought I would like it. I was thinking that maybe, you know, it just has to grow on me, but it's been some days. And at this point, if I don't like the nails, then I'm probably not gonna like them. So let me show you what they look like. Um, I did want something that was transparent. So I wanted clear nails and I wanted gold and black. And I did want a little hint of red. So she did give me what I was asking for, but I don't, I don't even know like why I don't really like them. I just don't like them. I think it's because you can, I mean, I, I don't like the fact that you can see my natural nails through it. But again, I did want transparent nails. So what do you expect? But um, let me go ahead and show you what they look like. So this is what my nails are looking like right now. You have to excuse if you hear the background noise. I'm not in my car. I'm actually riding with someone. So um, they stopped. So I'm, I'm here and I decided to record a video while they're inside running errands. So um, yeah, this is what they look like. Now you may be thinking, what's wrong with them? You know, they, they're not ugly. They are definitely different. I'm going to show you a closer um, view of them at, towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. But, I mean, like you can see my natural nose through it. I don't like that. And I think that it should have been a little bit more black. I don't know. Like, I'm not sure why I'm not liking it as much. Also, um, I do like the stiletto. Like, not stiletto, but like the coffin shape. And I don't, I mean, these are coffin, but they're not as coffin as I would like them. Um, the initials aren't as neat as they were before. When my primary nail tech did it, it's just like... I wrote the initials on there, it looks like. Again, these aren't horrible. I've had nails that have been way worse. You know, I don't think that these are just ugly or hideous. They're just not what I expected nor what I wanted. And um, I'm still gonna rock them out. I mean, I'm so glad that I don't have any jewels or rhinestones because I don't wanna have to deal with them getting snagged on different things and, you know, falling off. So I'm happy about that, but I don't, let me show you my thumbs too before I forget. So you can see how skinny this nail is compared to this one. And this one got skinnier because I asked her to file it down even more. It was bigger than this. She was going to leave it bigger than this. And I'm like, I just don't like that. Like, I, even if my nail is a little bit bigger, I still want the same. Or I want them to look the same. You know, when I get done, I want them to look very similar. Like, I don't want one nail bigger, one nail smaller. Like, I want them to be the same. So... This is what it looks like. Um, I got this inspired, or I was inspired with this design by a picture on their Facebook page. Um, a woman had her nails like this, but instead of black, she had it white. And um, it was really, really pretty and classy. And I was like, wow, that's gonna look so pretty if I do black and gold. And I was going into, I went to an event this weekend where the theme was black and gold. So I just thought that it would look really, really pretty. But like I said, it did not turn out how I anticipated it turning out. Now my primary nail tech, she did come over and look at my nails once um, her colleague got done and she said that she thinks this set is longer than the set that I had previously. So let me know in the comments if you think this set is longer than what I previously had. I personally think that this set is either the same length or a little bit shorter. I don't think that it's longer. Now I don't know if I feel like that because of the design. Sometimes designs can make your nails look a little bit shorter than they are and sometimes it can make them look a little bit longer just depending on the colors and how the design and how the shape of the nail is so i don't know again i don't know if these are longer or shorter but i do know and this is the nail right here that i was talking about in the beginning that got cut like my skin is cut that's why you see like no nail under that at all <laughs> so yeah i left in pain um i did not get my traditional like hand massage after my um new set like i do with my primary take again i'm not saying that it was a horrible horrible experience because it wasn't all i'm saying is it wasn't what i was excited for like it was not what i anticipated um my mom said that my nails are cute she tells me a lot of times that they look right if they don't my sister said that they were cute as well so and i've been getting compliments on them i got compliments at the mall compliments when i went out to eat i mean a lot of people have been complimenting my nails so i don't think that they're again i don't think they're ugly they're not even ugly to me they're not ugly to you know the people that were com complimenting me unless they were lying but again not really what i wanted so i'm gonna go ahead and show you all a close-up of my nails maybe um, it'll be a better hopefully to be a better view without the glare um and then i'll go ahead and close out the video so 
Let me grab you guys so that you can see my nails up close. Okay, so this is what my nails look like up close. Again, here's the nail that has like no, it's, it was cut so short and it, it really ended up bleeding and, and hurting. But this is what it looks like. I don't like how I can see my nails underneath it. Again, I did one transparent nail, so I should have expected it. But I don't know. I just feel like this nail, these nails are missing something. Let me know. It may just be me tripping. Maybe. I don't like the initials this time. I mean, they just don't look as professional as they were before and how I wanted them to look. I mean, it's just not, it's not doing something for me. Like this one looks a lot different than the other one. It's thicker, but, and it, you know, this one is a lot better than my other pinky right here, in my opinion. But, you know, mm, I'm thinking next time I'll get more colors added. I think I'll get like pink and white added with this. That way I don't have to get a brand new set and I don't have to get my nails stripped off and put back on um there was a comment under my nail update video and the comment was saying you know i'm not really too fond of you know them taking the nails off every time and putting a new application and honestly neither am i i just i'm going with it because that's how they do it and i want my nails to look nice and this is the only spot that i have been able to find that does that um you know helps my they, they have my nails looking really nice and you know i don't have to worry about having the same set on for too long but i don't know i may have to keep looking elsewhere so let me know what you all think about the entire experience and also my length the shape and also the design and um i'll talk to you on the next video bye